What's poppin' 49ers? We got lots in store for you this episode, but let me fill you in with a little info about myself. I'll give you guys two truths and one lie about me, and at the end of the episode, I'll let you know if your guess was right. One, my feet are so big, I have to get most shoes custom made to fit me. Two, I'm from Canada, and three, I'm a freshman. While you're thinking about that, follow me to find out more about thrilling events coming up in the upcoming weeks. My name is Zane Riz, your new co-host, and you're watching my new favorite week, Beach Week! True peace is not merely the absence of tension, it is the presence of justice, a quote written by Dr. Martin Luther King, which was the focal point for today's theme on peace and diversity during the 17th annual MLK celebration event. How, you know, what inspired you to write your essay? Martin Luther King is someone that I respect a lot and revered, so I wanted to write something um, about him and you know, I hopefully win, obviously, and I did, so. Uh, I think my, the favorite part of my event was the slam poetry at the end, given by philosophy. I think it's very powerful. Um, it honestly made me shed a couple tears, I'm not gonna lie. Justice instead of prejudice. Not just black lives matter, our lives matter, matter of fact. Now, what was your inspiration for today's poetry? I, I take things that are going around us in society, like watching CNN or BBC, and I see what's going on in the world. And so when I'm expressing the way I feel, that's why I'm so animated on stage, because I feel people need to understand what's going on and have everyone come to a common agreement at this epicenter of love. How did the event go for you and then what went to planning it? Okay, the, the event went really well. Um, I was pleasantly surprised. I had a program just yesterday and I got excited when I saw the contents of it. And so being here today with it coming alive, I think it went beautiful. So that tells me that this is important and that people care and as he said, we're watching and I think a lot of people worked hard to put it together. What's poppin' 49ers? We are so fortunate today to be joined by none other than Megan Jenkins. But before we get to her, I'm Zane Riz, but you already knew that. So, Megan. Hey. How you doing? Doing well, how are you? Good, good. Can you tell us what you're doing and why you're here? Yeah, so I'm a program assistant at USU Program Council, your event planner for the Student Union, and I am here to talk about uh, the Noontime Concerts. Word, word, yeah. word. So for students that aren't too familiar with the Noontime Concert Series, can you explain what goes down at one? Yeah, so with our series, we have concerts and activity days, so they alternate. And so um, our concerts take place every first and third Wednesday of each month. Okay, nice. And so, um, yeah, they're just in place to like have that nice little Wednesday vibe, you know, in the middle of the week. So want to just kind of push through and we kind of give you that yeah, with it's, live bands. It's always that middle of the week that gets you, that you need, you kind of need that push to go forward. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when and where will the concert be taking place? So each concert would be taking place in the Southwest Terrace, that's the patio um, area right outside of Starbucks and um, Panda Express. And um, they happen from 12 to 1 p.m. So actually we have one coming up March 2nd. Um, St. Luminous, they're an actual uh, duo, a rock duo, and they play instrumentals. Nice, nice, yeah, nice, nice. Really exciting. Okay, well thank you so much for joining us today, Megan. Thank you for having me, Zane. So guys, be sure to check out St. Luminous Wednesday, March 2nd at the Southwest Terrace between 12 and 1 p.m. If you have any questions, go down to the Beach Pride office at the USU. My name is Zane. Thanks so much for joining us today. You've been watching Currents on Beach Week. Growing up, my mom had a weird fascination with rubber ducks. I remember being decked out in everything rubber ducky. I guess that's why you'll see me at the Noontime Series Do-It-Yourself Crafts and Music event. Swing by to chill out to some sweet music and get nifty making your very own rubber ducks at the South Plaza Wednesday, March 9th between 12 and 1 p.m. Can I get a quack quack? 
If you're anything like me, you're pretty bummed you haven't seen the latest Hunger Games movie yet. Don't fret, because Movies on the House has got you covered. You can catch the fourth and final installment in this hit series at the Beach Auditorium in the USU on Wednesday, March 9th, and the following day on the 10th at 3.30, 6, and 8.30 p.m. So be sure to catch J-Law kicking butt and putting people in their place on the upcoming week, because I know I will. Attention CSULB filmmaking enthusiasts! ASI is returning this year with the second annual Beach Film Festival. Partnering with College Beat Television and CSULB Film Club, ASI brings you the opportunity for any CSULB student to participate in submitting their short film for a chance to win prizes, have their film shown on the big screen, and network with fellow passionate filmmakers such as themselves. So save the date this Friday, March 11th, for the kickoff date. For further information, visit Beach Sync and search second annual Beach Film Festival. See you there. So it looks like that's all the time we have today, guys. You guys know where I'll be all this week. I better see you there, too. Now, since you've made it this far in the episode, it's only fair I tell you what my lie was. Wait for it. I only have normal size feet. Sorry to disappoint anyone. Again, be sure to make it out to all the events, guys. I'm Zane Riz. Thanks so much for tuning in. You've been watching Beach Week.